الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم أما بعد First I convey my hearty salutation to one and all my brothers and sisters Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu All praise be to the Almighty Allah Peace and blessings upon our Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companions and his followers and especially among each and every Muslims in the globe till the doomsday Amin. My dear brothers and sisters, I want to talk about the white subject that is the only man that died in the heavens. Idris alayhi salatu was salam, who is Enoch the son of He, the grandson of Adam alayhi salatu was salam. And Idris, what you can take from the narration about him is that he is a man with high ambition. You know, he is very prone to calling people to good and forbidding evil. The first one to write with a pen and soon and so forth, a person who loves Dawah. There is a famous narration about Idris alayhi salatu wasalam. That Idris alayhi salatu wasalam wanted to know how much time he has left. Why? Why did he want to know how much time he was left? Because for people, for most people, it's that you want to party it up until it's the last day. Like if you know the date of your death, well, okay, you know, I am going to party it up and then on the day. On the day, Toba repentance, right? Just have it on your calendar, repent, then die, right? It doesn't work that way, right? Is that why Idris alayhi salatu was salam wanted to know the date of his death? No, Idris alayhi salatu was salam wanted to know the date of his death or he wanted to know how much time he had left because of his aspiration of dawah, because he wanted to know how to adjust his goals accordingly. So he tells Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam to find out for him. And the reason why I mention this narration right now because of only one thing to note about Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam as well. He is the only one the angel can take can take the can, can take the yeah, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam through the heaven and bring him down. He is the only one the angel can ascend or descend with any of the prophets of Allah. Through the heaven, he takes Jibri, he takes Idris alayhi salatu was salam. He takes Idris alayhi salatu was salam and he ascends with him. And with this author, which are primarily from the people of the book, he meets the angel of the death in the fourth heaven. And in the fourth heaven, Jibri alayhi salatu was salam asked the angel of the death that this is the, uh, this is the servant of Allah Idris. That this is the servant of Allah Idris. He wanted to know how much time he had left. And the angel of the dead says, You know, you know, I was amazed when Allah says, when Allah told me to take this man's soul in the fourth heaven. In the fourth heaven, Allah told to the angel of the dead, Idris alayhi salatu was salam soul would be had taken in the fourth heaven. So he dies in the fourth heaven. Subhanallah. Ibn Hajar Rahmatullahi Alayhi, who obviously is the most strict of hadith, he says that this narration, this narration is strengthened and corroborated by the evidence from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That when the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went to the night of Isra and Mi'raj, why did he see the Idris? In the fourth heaven. So Idris alayhi salatu was salam is the one of the one man can ever die in the four in the heaven. Right. Fine. That one of the interpretation we have raised in him to a high position and biblically dies in the fourth heaven. Okay, so it's corroborated by the evidence from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As well, so you find that mention to a Jibreel 
responding to the request of your prophet, take him through the heaven to meet the to meet the angel of the dead. To meet the angel of the dead. To be the angel of the dead. And may Allah Tawfiq, may, may, and may Allah grant Tawfiq for La ilaha illallah, and may Allah grant Tawfiq for La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah in our last dream. I conclude my speech by saying Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Ta'ala Wa Barakatuh.